Hey friends, and welcome back to the final episode of Blueport Pleasure Beach. Yes, when I say last episode, I mean the last speed build. You will not get any more from, from Blueport here. Me and Yuri are gonna go and make a part two video to you guys here later this week and you will get it out. But consider this as the end game as the end as the last video of this series and i feel great yes i do i feel exceptional it is a great feeling and i am at this uh, point now where i just kind of i'm okay i'm okay with how the park looks i'm okay leaving it like this yeah there's some nighttime lighting yeah there's a little bit extra stuff that could be have done but do i care not really, because to me, this park is done and I can finally just finish it off. So in this video today, guys, which is the last one, you will get to see tons of stuff. Lots of things I'm doing. We are literally jumping back and forth, but we are mainly working in the Alpine area. As you see here, I am adding in this uh, flat right here with some nice uh, uh, theming, a little bit of foliage, a little bit of fencing, some ropes trying to like get in that alpine swiss sort of theme and i feel like it goes very well it kind of works nice and then as you can see at the backdrop i added these nice wooden pillars uh, planks that are kind of like doing this background and actually mingles very well with the coaster as well because i'm also doing some cue work on the other side so this is a quick thing i just felt like i wanted to do and then afterwards i'm adding some lighting uh, a little bit of stuff and then I'm trying like just to figure out is this what I want and I think it's it's kind of nice so as you can see making a little uh, top there with uh, some ice and then I'm calling this right avalanche because it's so so used and also so like you know cringe in a way of using those kind of very generic uh, words so that's what I'm calling this one avalanche and that's also why I built this little uh, hill on right on the right side of it as you can see here and then some lighting and and very very much it really adds, adds a lot to this whole area here and also having the two coasters in the back and the stations and all that it really pops up the area very very nicely and then um, and i like that so this area was kind of done and now we're moving back into uh, our little shop here this is a building next to the swiss um chalet as you saw and the alpine blitz coaster uh, and this one here is mainly just for atms and vending machines i didn't really want it to add shops and i just kind of wanted to do something about it so just a little bit interior because you have see-through windows here so it would have been super cool to have some interaction in here and also uh, when you have guests walking in here and etc so this is kind of like what i'm doing and also guys it is very basic interior work i'm doing here in these guys as i told you I went in here and I was like, let's finish this, but let's not go like crazy. Just make it very simple, very generic as Blueport does it here. And I'm kind of happy on how the whole end result has ended up looking. As I told you guys, this is the basic thing I'm doing. I just don't want to like have some uh, roofs peeking out or something clipping through each other. So I just kind of wanted to at least make the interiors clean. I'm not doing an interior as I did at the P and Grins shop, but just a very basic and clean um, interior. And that's literally all we need in this sort of situation here. And as you can see, really just making it look pretty. So we have something nice to look at when you actually enter inside here. And I do love the different textures and all that stuff we got going here as well. Because this shop uh, or building here, I don't think it's going to get used that much. It's mainly just for our guests to walk in and interact with the ATM or uh, the vending machines pretty much. I have not seen a person walk in here yet. There is pathing, but um, it might be too, uh, yeah, because I put in some barriers, so maybe it's blocking some of their way. I don't know. In any case, you can still walk in there through the doors and that's literally what matters. And you can even look here on the left side, look down uh, when the coaster comes by, uh, going down the, the tunnel, which is really, really cool. I'm also not gonna theme any of the coasters. They have the station and then they have a little bit of backdrop and a little bit of trees and stuff. But it is a low budget park and they only invest in the 
coastal stations whatsoever so that's what we also have been doing i am i cannot tell you guys how happy i am to make this video like i was i've really been stuck um, no not stalking that's the wrong word i've been working very hard and to finish this park for the past two weeks and i was like why don't i just go in and i just finish up all the things i need to do and we'll make a video out of that and then we can kind of like chill and prepare the last things we need to do for our park tour video which we will record very very soon so of course um, to get to the park it will be on the workshop if you are a patron you will get a week early access to the park so you can walk around in it before everyone else so if something that has interest check out the links down below guys and besides that we are literally just finishing up this interior here now as you can see we're just finishing up doing some chairs and all that and then we're moving over to the other section of the park this is the alpine this is the sky ride uh, our little chairlift and i don't know if you can see what i'm trying to do here but i felt like this was a very cool idea so making a sky ride logo or sign here but making it feel like it's sort of a chairlift already so what i'm doing here is that i'm trying to like make the sign like this as you can see having these two lines going down from it so it kind of gives that vibe of being a chairlift or at least the support of a chairlift and i kind of like that idea i thought that was kind of cool and it added so much to this area as well uh, especially now when we have a lot of depth and this entire area is kind of finished off now very very nicely again we're moving over to an another section actually right before the alpine area the uh, lock flume we have this like big plaza ish situation which i've really been struggling of figuring out what to do so i was just like why don't i just do this like making some custom flower beds uh, and like just trying to ankle the path here so it becomes a little extra path over to this section here so you don't have to walk all the way around if that's if that's the the thing you you don't want to so here you can see i'm just trying to adding these nice arches and then afterwards just as again still trying to add so we get this sort of nice uh, clean situation here and then on the top here i'm adding the the very corny uh, blue port uh, vintage uh, letters to kind of like just I thought that would be of a cool photo situation like imagine being in the theme park and then you have like the blue port sign in the back you have the lock flume you can maybe even see the top hat of the launch coaster and it, it's just a nice thing to uh, think about you know like that would be the photo spot for people to to take the famous blue port uh, pleasure beach picture uh, so I felt like that was uh, that was kind of a neat idea. You uh, get to see it here in just a sec. So literally just cleaning up here and making this area look top notch, especially when you come from uh, the lock flume. So this episode, as I told you guys, is literally just cleaning up and finishing up all the things. I have nothing else to go back into this park for, as I told you. Maybe I'll add a few light and maybe I'll add. Uh, a little bit of speakers so we get a little bit of atmosphere everywhere there are a little bit of stuff runs around but um we're just keeping it on a low but at the same time i'm also not very uh, enthusiastic anymore about going back into this park besides making the park tour and of course the showcases and etc so um but the video jumps back and forth guys as i told you so here we are in the uh, blueport beer house which is at the beer garden which is also a little extra thing I did here, which is also just to keep it very clean. As you guys know, I have a lot of uh, not done interiors and it was very, very, uh, how do you say, clumsy and it just didn't look right. So I made a deal to myself that if I just make these finish and then leave everything else, because everything else is literally just back sides of things and there's no need f to focus on that because people don't even see it, mainly on the coasters, right? Uh, also want to say like just if I a big thanks to uh, Dave who helped me out with the the last three coasters in the park here which is uh, really really nice and they they make such a nice skyline uh, and Blueport definitely needed some coasters and some some thrilling excitement instead of only that spinning coaster so I feel like we did a uh, Blueport a solid here and uh, we've definitely uh, definitely done the theming right compared to what we are and we are a budget park or a low budget park and yeah here i'm adding the last things to the chairlift station just adding some railing to the top here and it actually works 
very very well so we're going over to the uh, queue for our what i call schweizer storm coaster yes i know beautiful beautiful name and uh, that is kind of like uh, what i'm kind of doing here for this ride and then afterwards i'm just slowly trying to cover it up with some stuff because i feel like adding this to the building gives that little extra theme park crisp uh, vibe you know to it and then it also just makes people feel safe inside and if it's raining as it does a lot in the uk and uh, you are safe uh, you are safe underneath uh, this uh, canopy awning situation here so yeah i'm i'm just like really jumping back and forth here guys and i'm really trying to get this theme park feeling and alpine feeling into uh, the situation here and i honestly gotta say the more i added the more i like the area and that's also what just kept me going i was like okay now we just need this section here you can do it now I'll go over and make this section i didn't really think about like having it looking sharp or perfect i literally just wanted to clean it just so it didn't look bad you know and also thank you so much for uh, everyone that's been uh, watching this series for the last three years it's uh, it's been hell of a, of a roller coaster ride more or less and luckily it's only 25 episodes i uh, was worried that this series would be would get up there um but yeah uh, i've have i'm in contact with uh, jure and he uh, are agreeing to join me on our final little uh, park tour video which we will record friday so expect that video to be out next week with the park as well so good news guys and also i kept my word this time i told you i was gonna finish this park and it is finished yes we are inside the station here the schweizer storm coaster and uh, i'm just trying to add because i had a lot of plans with this station i gotta admit i had a lot of plans when i built it but the more i build and also i kind of like lowered my expectations to the station and as i said to literally just trying to make it clean so i just literally covered up the station in there so the coaster drives into this little uh this little uh plank situation here and then slowly towards the station where the station will also be very 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 simple and generic so here is a little funny part is that i wanted to do a short quick transition into the alpine area from our generic adrenaline zone uh, section and i wanted to make it as corny and like just as simple as possible like like just they literally just didn't even use a lot of resources or money on this and then they're calling it so so simple as alpine land like you, you don't get more for your money for that guys that is legit just what you get all right so alpine land and extreme zone or acceleration zone and then we have like a generic it, it's beautiful it's beautiful that's all you need in low budget realistic park guys but yeah, adding the last touches here to, to this little transitioning area. And then of course adding the fonts, which is Alpine Land, which is just so creative, right? I know you're thinking that right now. Don't even, okay. So to the last part here, uh, one of the cool part of this whole video is that I feel like, okay, let's add some more realistic stuff. What can we do? And I've had this area after like since you got out of the, the woody or the gravity group coaster and i just didn't feel like i didn't know what to do exactly so i was like why don't i just make a freaking photo stand so that's all, uh, literally what i do i'm adding some monitors and uh, doing it all pretty here making it uh, super interactive with the coaster and the other areas around it and as you can see for the queue on the other side i used more of the pillars and and planks to kind of like stabilize the entire thing around the queue so we get this super nice theme park feeling and i feel like we really really got that now especially with all these extra things added to the whole area and uh yeah i honestly thought it was a cool idea with this photo booth here and it actually adds a lot to it and i think it's my first ever photo thing i have done uh, i have not in i don't have any photo triggers on the coaster and i'm not gonna do any custom images with the pictures on the monitor uh i'm lazy like that so it'll just be the monitors itself it can be uh it maybe they don't work i mean it's usually like that when you come to uh, i mean maybe thor park uh, maybe in a british park nothing ever works there dude so uh, maybe it's like that you know you never know you never know 
So writing the last photos here, and then we're just adding a little bit of ceiling, and then we are adding some clutter pieces, a little bit of cashier stuff. We gotta make it feel like you can actually buy stuff here. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> adding a little animatronic dude. And then we are slowly finishing this last video. I hope it's okay with all this uh, stuff, guys. I feel like last video should be a little bit of a bang, you know. So might as well give you guys a little bit of all the things I've been working on to finish off this park here. And I am happy. I am not theming any of the coasters. Even the tunnels are going to be super plain with concrete. It is what it is, guys. As long as it's just the building, the scenery, the plazas that are themed. And we usually see a lot of coasters that are not really themed. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. Adding some decals on the top here to just give it that little old and nasty feeling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then uh, we're just much done. Moving over to the last station, which is also going to be very simple. Literally super simple. At this point here, I'm over it. At this point here, I'm so over it. And I'm literally just <laughs> trying to finish up the things. There are stuff that could be better, but at this sec, I don't care. As I told you guys, the park is done in my eyes, and I think uh, I think it's pretty much uh, what I can do. And uh, I'm not gonna use more time here. It is the end chapter. It's done. We are moving towards the next page, which is not this park, which is my five other projects I need to finish. I know I'm working on it. Okay, I'm working on it. So, but as you can hear, the the excitement, the level of happy is high because it's always like that when you finish something and especially something that's been taking too many years to build. Honestly, too many freaking years. I have parks that are 10 times bigger than this that I've built. Well, not yeah, almost finished before. So um, it's it's something guys and I'm happy to say this. Thank you so much for watching Blueport and thank you so much for supporting the series. I really hope that maybe in the future we will get obviously Plank Go 2 and I can make a similar park like this again because right now we're taking a break from from realistic parks as well even though we only made one but it's more than enough okay uh, anyways guys leave a like and a comment down below let me hear what you think i'll see you in the next video with Jure. enjoy the cinematics take care friends goodbye and have an amazing day <laughs>